Welcome everybody to another 144 and 360 where we explain the Fibonacci retracements based on the 144 analytics guidelines and rules. In this one we're going to go back to the basics and just explain 61.8 more in detail and 78.6 just so you get a clearer understanding and use this basically as a guideline to always reference back to. Uh, it's timeless in that uh, the examples are will always be the same. So I'm just trying to give you some of my 40, over 40 years of experience in market analysis here. And hopefully you'll believe that the Fibonacci retracements are the underlying structure of all markets as we do. So we start here with 61.8 and I'm using this stock Zencore here. Uh, I cover this for a, a long time client of mine. And in this case, we're just going to go back and we're going to go look at what 61.8 was. Okay, so we take obviously this high and this low the extremes the most direct move and you see 61.8 was hit right here okay so now if we just continue this so just following the rules we just explained we should be looking for 61.8 the other way we take this down here we go to 61.8 now um, again, we could be looking for 61.8 the other way too. Here you came back down to it again. So if we take this one here, we swing this up here to this low, and then what do we find? But we go 61.8 again. So the first time we hit this, we even have in, in another 61.8 that comes in that hits right in here. And then what do we do but from this 61.8 go all the way back to the big one down here. Uh, so you can see we've been caught in the 61.8 uh, land here. Uh, the second another part of uh, our guidelines here is when a market hits 61.8 it tells us two things. One that we should be looking for 61.8 the other of the current move. And when dealing with very large ranges, that it tends to mean the market is going into a choppy trading range with big swings. For how long? This all depends on the size of the range and the time spent to produce the two levels that re the retracements come from. So you can just see here how just back and forth, this thing, it put it into a consolidation period by hitting 61.8, 61.8, and this is where, you know, what differs and what is kind of the same with 78.6 is that you get wide swings when you hold these retracements. So uh, hopefully that uh, clears up some things with 61.8. Now we're going to go to um, 78.6 and here we have one of the grains that we cover. This is uh, the oil. This is about soybean oil in Jan that's about to expire. But here uh, we go to the 78.6 rule and any market that hits 78.6 should go 78.6 the other way. This is also where a lot of bull markets end and start. Uh, we'll start with the end and start part of that. And as you can see on this chart right here, we can take uh, the 78.6 of this smaller move right here. You can see holding 78. The failure to make that new low here comes at 78.6 and you get a very quick move. These things happen a lot at tops and bottoms. Now just on the other side we go up here 78.6. What do we hit here? And I mean, look at this move afterwards. Now, this is also a second part of this rule is when a market does react to 78.6, it usually creates wide swings that go through all of the other retracements. This either happens in very large trading ranges or even in very small. It is also the level hit most often when the market is reacting from 23.6 and 38.2 and fails to make that new high as we just showed you in both of those example this is where a lot of bull runs start and end so as you can see here 78 just blew through 38 blew th through 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 61.8 but now we can go back to the bigger 78.6 where again these causing wide swings so from this high here to this low here we went 78.6 now you can go above it but to 
our theory is that you have to have two solid closes in the same direction above a key level to violate that level. And in this case, you can see above it, down below it, you know, above it, back close below it, above it, and then finally the, the bigger move down. It did react from 23.6, but all it could do was 78.6. As you can see, we like to back a lot of these things up with major GAN squares, and that's the other part of our analysis here. Um, but that's a whole different thing. We're just trying to give you the two examples here of 61.8, 78.6. We hope that, uh, one, if you like this kind of analysis, look for our next one, which is going to be 23.6 and 38.2 explained just like this. And um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, we'd love it. And more importantly, we'd love you to become a premium member where you can get all of these levels way ahead of time and uh, one thing to look for here just for you to check on your own is ADM Archer Daniel Midland uh, you take the 11 4 22 uh, low and 12 5 high or it might be the other way around and then on 12 27 22 it started a 90, $96 well from 96 to 84 on the break and that all came from 78.6 again just as you saw in uh, the oil here but take a look at it for yourself to grasp a greater understanding of just where these turns happen and how uh, when they hold how key they are and how they give you direction for the market and if I didn't already say it uh, we'd love to see you become a premium member for our grains weekly where we give this all out ahead of time uh, until then next video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you back.